You are my sexual Dumbledore. Oh, um, what does that mean? Dumbledore from, he's from Harry Potter. You know, Harry Potter's like mentor. He's got the beard and he's got the, the hat. Dumbledore. I'm gonna stop you right there. Oh, um, this is just kind of, this will ride you through life. I don't think ever there's a woman that's gonna want you to say that during a sexual encounter, you're thinking of her as an old, Gray, grizzled wizard. I mean, oh. <laughs> oh my God. that's so funny. The look on your face is so oh sweet. You had fun with this one. Uh, we had so much fun with it, and that scene, strangely, was shot on mine and Ben's, my lovely husband's 10th anniversary. You're so there was just a lot of, like, smooching this lovely 22-year-old Luke, who is great, and he was great like, kisser. happy birthday wonderful kisser in a, in, a, in a friendship kind of way. Uh, yes, yeah. So Ben indeed. was like, happy anniversary, I love you. Can you grab his butt? I was like, sure, why not? This is not your first uh, time, this is not your first rodeo, as they <laughs> yeah. say, with your husband, no. riding together and having him no, direct. No, it's the best, I mean, I, that's, we met doing that. It's yeah. like he's my favorite person to write and perform with. And the fact that we get to make movies now is just like insane to me. Now, how did this idea come? I mean, it's that, about yeah. your mother? She well, was visiting? It's like ben had the idea. My mom and I were like fiddling around in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And he said he was looking at my mom and kind of thinking, like, what was she like at my age? Yeah. And then what age was I? And he said somehow he drifted into, like, college. Because he grew up on a college campus, so it's always near and dear to his heart. Yeah. And then he came, and, came to me and said, what if we did a movie where you went back to college but with your daughter? Which I was like, oh, that's such a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. And I meant, like, for my life. I was like, because I didn't finish school. I was like, I should go back to school with the girls. He goes, no, I meant it as a point of conflict, not right. as, like, a great idea. And I because was like. Because you get dumped by a jerk oh, of a husband. I do. Matt Walsh, the worst, he is, guys. I hate him. Personally and professionally, the worst. <laughs> But he is, he's so, he can do a very weird thing. He is so is despicable. He's so oh. awful, and yet you're still, like, laughing. It's, like, it's and very frustrating. And so is Julie, too, in this. Oh, she's, she also the worst. Julie Bowen, also the worst. <laughs> They're made for each other. Yeah, just so mean, but they keep it, like, mm. It yeah. doesn't feel mean. It just feels like, <gasps> yeah. oh, oh, God, they're not really saying that. Well, you, you're having a lot of fun on social media, as you tend to do. And there was something called old headshot, like that hashtag, and oh, you started God. posting a few. Let's just go through some of the best of. Bad. It should just be called bad decisions. What, no, <laughs> now, what was the little cowboy hat there? Well, the... I was told to do character. It was my first agent, um, yeah. commercial agent, and he said, do character shots. I said, I think those make me uncomfortable. And he goes, well, my working clients do go the distance. <laughs> If you don't want to go, and I'm like, I want to go the distance. I've never been paid. <laughs> and so I thought, I didn't know it meant like cop, waitress, something relatable. Yeah. I made up a character in my head of this woman that <laughs> handed out cheese samples at a grocery store and made this out of Western Barbie because the little boots are on my ears. <laughs> too, much, too much free time. And then th I took pictures as this woman, like, Completely not castable. By the way, never did a commercial off those headshots. Not so Yeah, but where's that guy now? Right? <laughs> where's yeah, he? Exactly. Is he Nobody going the distance knows. now? Is he going the distance, We're guys? Find out. <laughs> By the way, you did something pretty cool. You're a mom in real life, obviously. Yeah. You went out on the plaza and you surprised. <gasps> I, a I, mom. What was this for, about? Uh, for my, well, I love that there were sisters, and it's uh, one of the sisters, Jane, it's her birthday, and they're all in from St. Louis, and I just love, I love the thought that they're well, taking a trip together. They, they thought yeah. they were going to get a behind the scenes to the Today Show. That's what they thought was happening, mm -hmm. but just take a look at what happened. <laughs> what really happened. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. But I have, I have a thousand dollars for you guys to go to a spa. Oh, what? Leave your kids at home just for the spa. And that said lovingly, oh um, just meaning treat yourself. <laughs> not, meaning, not meaning ditch your kids. Um, and then I have twelve tickets to see my new movie, Life of the Party. Oh, so I want you to like go together. I love that you're all here. That's so cute. Uh, you rock. Some I people, it's so easy to make them happy, together. you know. Yes. And it's like how great that the, like the four of them are here on this trip. I just love that. I mean, it made me jealous to see my sister, but.
by the but way. We're so happy you came and spent time with us. Sweetie. Life of the party, by the way. Thanks funny. for the wine. You're, you're welcome. Delicious. I'm going to send you some. Uh-huh. Drinky, drinky. Drinky Life food. of the party is in theaters right now. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.